Section 1.7, absolute value of inequalities. So earlier on 1.6, we learned about absolute value of x equaling a. So that was x equal to a or x equal to negative a. So you plotted two points, negative a and positive a. In the new ones, now it's absolute value of x greater than a, known as our or statement. So you're going to write it as x greater than a or x less than negative a. So there, when you graph them on the number line, one is going to negative infinity and the other one's going to positive infinity. When we see absolute value of x less than a, this is known as our and statement. So this is our intersection. So it's negative a less than x less than a. So you're going to be bounded between the values of negative a and positive a. Some other situations that occur. If your original problem at the start it says absolute value of x is less than negative a, that is no solution. And here's how we know. If I stick a negative number in here, it comes out positive. A positive number cannot be less than a negative number. That's why it's a no solution. If your absolute value of x is greater than negative a, absolute value of x is greater than negative a, my solution is going to be negative to positive infinity. It's all real numbers. Because if I stick a negative number in, it's going to come out positive, and a positive number will always be bigger than a negative number. If you see the absolute value of x less than zero, there is no line. It's less than zero. The answer is going to be no solution. Because if I stick a negative number in, it's going to become positive. So negative one is positive one, and one is not smaller than zero. That's why it's a no solution. Now notice this one, the one on the left and the one on the right. The one on the left said there is no equal sign. This one says absolute value of x is less than or equal to zero. If the line is there for the equal to value, you're going to take the inside and set it equal to zero and then solve for x. So x is equivalent to zero. So zero can equal zero. Zero is not, zero is not less than zero. So that's the difference between the two. So if we look at example one, it says absolute solve absolute value of 3w plus 1 minus 4 less than 7. So going back to the previous lesson, we need to isolate our absolute value. So in order to isolate, we're going to move the four. So we're crossing that bridge. The inequalities, the George Washington Bridge, going from the left to the right. So opposite of negative is positive. I'm adding four. So now we see absolute value of 3w plus 1 is less than 7 plus 4 is 11. So now we're seeing the scenario of absolute value less than a value absolute value less than a value and it's a positive number so it means we can solve it so when you see this situation we know that this means and it's an intersection so we're going to rewrite it in the format think of this entire thing being x less than the a value you're going to rewrite it into negative a less than x less than a so a in this instance a is going to be represented by 11, and the x is represented by 3w plus 1. So we're going to write negative 11 less than x is 3w plus 1 less than 11. So I changed my absolute value into an equation I can solve. Here is our and statement. Remember, these type of questions require us to work from the inside out. So first thing I need to do is subtract the 1 to left and right. So we see negative 12 less than 3w less than 10. And then again, inside out, we, are, we have to break this bond by division. So we're dividing by 3. So negative 12 divided by 3 is negative 4 less than w is by itself less than the fraction 10 thirds. So our situation is going to be between negative 4 to 10 thirds. In the sense, there is no line underneath. We know that this is an open statement. So parentheses of negative four comma 10 thirds, there's our interval notation. Example two says solve three less than or equal to one plus the absolute value of one half t minus five. Now, in this situation, it's easier to have the inequality or your absolute value bars actually on the left side. So we're going to do a mirror image. So I'm going to treat this as the mirror. 
I'm gonna write the one. All I'm doing is writing what was on the right side. It's one, it was positive sign. The absolute value is one half T minus five, absolute value bar. Now notice that here the inequality, it says it's eating the one. It's greater than or equal to one. So it's saying one is bigger than or equal to three. So I need to be eating the right side. So this side is bigger. So I am eating the right side, three's there. The other way of thinking about it, the arrow tip is hitting the three, the arrow tip is hitting the three. So now we're at this situation, this is what we're gonna solve. We need to isolate our absolute value bar. So first subtract one over. So now absolute value of one half T minus five is greater than or equal to two. So now we have, it's greater than or equal to two. So remember this because it's eating the absolute value bars. This is known as our or statement. So your situation is going to be x greater than or equal to a and x less than or equal to negative a. This is the x. That is our a. So we are going to have 1 half t minus 5 greater than or equal to 2 or 1 half t minus 5 less than or equal to negative 2. First, isolate the variable. So I'm going to add 5 over. So 1 half t greater than or equal to 7. Second equation, add 5 over. 1 half t less than or equal to positive 3. Now to get rid of the fraction, it's a half. So I'm going to multiply the left and right by 2. So t is greater than or equal to 14. Multiply by two, t is less than or equal to six. You would check your solutions by going back into, you can go back to your original or the mirrored image one, which has already been set up here. So we're gonna val verify our values into this equation right here. So you can go to check. So one half t minus five, greater than or equal to two. And we're gonna plug in 14. So half of 14 minus five, is it greater than two? Half of 14 is seven minus five, greater than or equal to two. Well, two is equal to two, so it passes the solution. And you can try the six also. So we're gonna do again, one half T minus five, is it greater than or equal to two? We're gonna plug in a six now half of six minus five, is it greater than or equal to two? So we get three minus five. Three minus five is a negative two, but it's still an absolute value bar. So we end up getting two equaling two again. So it passes the solution. Example three wants us to do the absolute value of 3D minus five plus seven, less than four. The difference between, and then B says, the absolute value of three D minus five plus seven greater than four. So the difference between A and B is the direction of the inequality. This is saying it's less than, this one's saying it's greater than. So let's look at A first. We need to isolate. So we're gonna subtract seven over. Absolute value of three D minus five is less than negative three. We are in the pattern of absolute value of x less than a negative value. Remember what I said earlier. Anything that's negative in absolute value bars comes out positive, and a positive number will always be bigger than a negative value, never smaller. So this one is a no solution. When we look at b, we're going to do the same situation. We're going to subtract 7. So we get 3d minus 5 greater than negative three. It's following the pattern of absolute value of X greater than negative A. Remember, anything that's negative comes out positive. A positive number will always be greater than a negative number. If we come to this situation, this is all real numbers. So we're going from negative infinity to positive infinity. Example four. Example four says, a, absolute value of 4x plus 2 is greater than or equal to 0. So it's greater than or equal to 0. Remember, anything inside here, greater than or equal to 0, this is in the form of absolute value of x greater than or equal to 0. 
this is all real numbers. Any number inside will be greater than zero, regardless of what value we find. On B says absolute value of four X plus two is less than zero. This is in the format of absolute value of X less than zero. When we plug in numbers, numbers are always gonna be greater than zero, negative or positive inside absolute value will always come out positive. And it will always be greater than zero, so this is no solution. C says absolute value of four X plus two is less than or equal to zero. Here's that less than or equal to zero situation. It's the absolute value of X less than or equal to an A value which is zero in this instance. When it's like this, you need to take the inside. So we're gonna write four X plus two and set it equal to zero to solve. Subtract two over, four X equals negative two, divide by four, X is equal to negative two fourths, which reduces to negative a half. Always reduce fractions if possible.